Okay guys, so we're tackling a big project today. Uh, my master cylinder and my brakes has been leaking, so we are replacing it, got the new one in. Uh, and in hindsight, I should have ordered a master slave cylinder. So uh, we're replacing the brake master, need to order the master slaves. I'm gonna do that uh, just to tackle them off the car. Um, I was gonna film this whole thing for you guys, but my ballast for my main light went out and my other side doesn't work either. So I'm working off the garage lights and a shop light right now. And it might look decent because the camera kind of helps it a little bit, but it's very dark in here. Uh, so here's where we sit right now. All right, I've got it all removed. It was a pain in the butt thanks to this fuel line right here, but it's out. Um, we're cleaning, you know, I just poured some greaser in there. There's a bucket underneath to catch everything from hitting the floor pan. And because uh, we had some leakage of uh, brake fluid. Um, so that's, you know, we, we're going to clean this up better with a wire brush and then I'm going to coat it with some sort of a, probably some POR and uh, take care of it that way. Uh, just make sure, just a little bit of rust prevention, uh, just like we did everywhere else in the car. Um, but yep, that's probably what we'll do just to make it look a little cleaner over there. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll do moving forward. So you guys definitely just saw the uh, the headlights out in the in, out in the sunlight. They look really good. Uh, and here you're looking at my bracket for my master cylinders. As you can see, the brake master cylinder has already been removed, and I'm about to remove the clutch line master. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because the brake master. I took the car out on a nice little drive. Here it is. And oh, actually, sorry. Took the car out on a nice little drive and decided to romp on the brakes a little bit or had to romp on the brakes because I was doing some nice hard pulls trying to do some flybys with the camera as fast as you can for an MGB and uh, the brake got pretty, it seemed like it was just getting heat, heat wear but uh, I could tell it was fading hard and um, I got out and I looked and I could see there, were, I started to get like a little bit of spongy feel on the pedal pedal. Uh, and I could tell that something was wrong and it looked like it had, there was a rupture there was leaking coming from under the boot on the edge of the master so I went ahead and took it off um, and since I'm doing that the getting this bracket out was not easy with it due to the steel lines so we're gonna go ahead and replace this uh, and I'm gonna keep it maybe rebuild it and just hold on to it as a spare and we'll put the uh, non-stock looking part of uh, you know Placement in and I know it's not looking great, but it'll it'll do so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing picking apart real quick And that masters off Still some fluid in there So now we're gonna take this industrial degreaser Soak this thing all over. All right, ignore the Crocs and socks. We're going straight to some uh, industrial enamel. This is where we get real rugged and cavalier with it. We're going to spray some protective coating down here just to uh, keep her covered. All right, everybody. Sorry for the dim light again. Uh, while the paint dries, we're going to go ahead and get our new master prepared for the brakes. As you can see, here's the old master, very dirty. We're gonna clean her up, repair it's the Lockheed part so we don't wanna lose it. Um, in the meantime, I just wanna drive the car. So we're gonna go ahead and get the new one 
up the snuff. And I'll tighten her down and make sure it's pretty snug. Checking the car real quick. It's gonna be a little shallow. All right, I got the brake master uh, banjo bolt on where I think it's gonna be right. I won't be able to check until I get it on the car. Let's go ahead and get the. Uh, here's the new uh, master for the clutch. It's not quite the same. And not nearly as pretty a design in my opinion. But uh, we're gonna use it for functionality, and we'll clean this up as a backup part. So here's the bracket. Uh, we put the masters back on. I think my plan of attack is going to be to do a bench bleeding on the car, um, assuming I can get reach this back master for the clutch line. Uh, but I kind of want to do a dry fitting to see if I've lined up the banjo bolts the proper way with the hard lines. So we're going to go ahead and try and slide it back in and just see how it looks. This is not going to be a fun process. All right, so got the master in there. It looks like the lines are lined up on pretty much all of them. Um, the only thing we might have to do here later is, oh geez. The only thing we might have to do is um, I'm really worried about cross-threading this guy right here. I don't think we will, but I'm not sure. All right, guys, so we got our bleeder kit hooked up. We're gonna take this end, and we're gonna hook it at the end of the banjo bolt. Press it, and uh, hopefully suck out the bubbles. Bench bleeder. <laughs> Well, we were dripping, so we are good. There's definitely fluid in there. I think we bled it out. So let's cap it real quick. I'm trying to pull it with my finger. I believe we're good. So now the task is to reinstall this guy. It's proven to be a pain so far. I never have to do this job again on this car. Never say never though, right? This was probably, this was not fun. Especially these steel lines make it super difficult. Alright, so an interesting note is the uh, connector on the hard line on the master for the... So I went ahead and bled, bled the master uh, for the clutch. The way I did that is I pushed it in and then I plugged it with my finger creating a vacuum and then I let it release and it sucked the fluid out. And then you push it in again and shoot out until it shoots out some fluid and plug it again, let it suck in to, to you know, fill that vacuum void with fluid and then we're connecting the line. Interesting note is that the hard line for the master of the clutch is uh, connected via a 12 millimeter, while the master for the brake is a 7 16 thought that was kind of odd for this car for some reason. 
we're gonna go ahead and finish tightening this up. It's literally a, probably an eighth of a turn at a time, so it's gonna take some time. All right, guys, so we're gonna have to do every mechanics, uh, what, what everybody dreads, redoing work. So basically, I'm gonna have to take off the bracket again, pull out the whole bracket, and install this guy. This is a trap valve uh, for the master cylinder. Oh man, I can't focus on it. Here we go, hold on. And basically what it does is, is you, if, you, if you open this thing, you'll see two reservoirs inside of here, right? And those are two different fluid, uh, you know, fluid systems. So this one is for the back, res the rear reservoir. So when you're pressing the pedal, if there's a loss of pressure, right? So when you press the pedal, it de depresses this off of the line, right? So you can get fluid through. Now, if there's a loss of pressure when the fluid comes out, then it will seal the valve, seal the system, and allow you to utilize the other system to stop. This is all before ABS brake technology, so it's pretty neat because it will allow you to have braking instead of a, if you lose pressure on one of the sides, it'll allow you to have braking. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the banjo here and the banjo here, and I'm gonna add a washer here. There wasn't a washer on the old one, and I don't think, I don't think she was leaking, but we're gonna go ahead and put a washer in there anyway. Uh, and then we're going to put the trap valve, oh, sorry, the trap valve in here. We're going to take this pencil though, and we're going to try to mark where they lined up so we know how to put them back on. First, let's wipe it off real quick. I'm trying to do this with uh, one good hand. To... This is a... Uh... Hopefully I'll be able to see that. I can barely see it here. It's not marking so great on the copper. Do the same thing on this guy. Let's wipe her down first. Best we can. Make a mark. We just want it to line up. Just like that. Alright, let's take them off. She's out, dripping some fluid still. It's okay. Got our washers. Let's put them back on. And we're gonna go ahead and take our trap valve right here and stick her on in there. Once that's in there, go ahead and take our banjo, and throw it back in. That simple. Which is why it's so frustrating that I have to do it again at all. But you live and learn. All right, now you can see I got two washers on the banjo for the uh, clutch, and I put you saw me put the uh, PVC, the trap valve in there for the brake line. So we're gonna put it back in the car, bench bleed again. Um, what I'm going to do is take the fluid that I drained out and get it back in there because it should be good. It's fresh, brand new fluid, so we're going to reuse it. Alright guys, so the car is all pieced together. I still have just my garage door opener lights in here. It's just pretty dark. The camera does a pretty good job making it look brighter than it is. I had a shop light, which I accidentally dropped and broke. So now I've got to uh, go by and replace the bulb. But uh, the car is all buttoned up. And we are going to see, uh, we're gonna fire it up for a bit because it's been running a while. And uh, we're gonna feel out the pedal. So let's do it. All right, so let's hop in. First test, let's Brakes don't wanna move. They feel more solid. Oh, I guess one of the te real tests would see. Clutch can I even shift. Start the car again. Oh, 